Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Seth, and this is the first episode of Chernobyl. One, two, three, four, five. Thankfully, that's the episode name and not the length, because I don't have that much time right now. I know that this series is very serious, it's dire, it's based on the historical events. I've been exposed to a lot of information, you know, about Chernobyl, passively through pop culture, video games, movies, other, you know, productions, and then a ton of videos on YouTube uh, about it. But as far as like the nitty gritty historical, I don't know the details, and I know this is a dramatic, dramat dramatization. I know this is a dramatization, and some things are, you know, maybe bent a little bit. That's something I can check out later, but I'm going to do my best to um, take this for the tone that it is. I usually think out loud, kind of ramble on, and talk over sometimes what's going on. But that's generally because I'm following it, and if I miss anything, I do catch it in editing. This is the shortest one, and that's good for me today, so... Without wasting any more time, let's see what they have to offer us. This is Chernobyl, Episode 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bring her back online. What is the cost of lies? It's not that we'll mistake them for the truth. The real danger is that if we hear enough lies, then we no longer recognize the truth at all. All we want to know is who is to blame. <laughs> That's not wrong, bro. The story is Anatoly Dyatlov. Uh. He was the best choice. An arrogant, unpleasant man. He ran the room that night. He gave the orders. There were far greater criminals than him at work. They're talking about a fall guy, the Atlas. There was nothing sane about Chernobyl. What happened there, what happened after, even the good we did. All of it. It's weird because a few weeks ago there was fighting at the Chernobyl power plant. Russia, yeah, doing Russian things in Ukraine. His dude not well. I just noticed he was patting his mouth and now it looks like a bloody cloth maybe down there. If this was the Expanse, we'd have anti-radiation meds for this guy and or everyone, but... Six tapes, okay. So this seems to me to be a secret drop-off, right? He, you know, taking precaution. Yeah, yeah, now we got ominous outside watcher. <laughs> you walked into alley with bucket. You not leave with bucket. He's just getting faster, getting louder. Tighter and tighter shots. We are, we are escalating here. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck, okay, dude's getting the word out. Pretty yet Ukrainian SSR, two years, er in one minute earlier. Very specific. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's nice, the time for the shockwave. At least the glass didn't blow out. What just happened? <laughs> I don't know. The control system tank, hydrogen. You and Tuckton off, you morons, blew the tank. No, that's not... This is an emergency. Everyone stay calm. Backup pumps running. We need water moving through the core. That is all that matters. There is no core. It exploded. The core exploded. <laughs> yeah, you can't douse it if it's... He's in shock. Get him out of here. <laughs> it's off. The stack is burning. I saw it. You're confused. RBMK reactor cores don't explode. What about the fire? Call the fire brigade. What? What? Whoa. Hey, this is the, the, the nuclear plant. Can you send some fire trucks? <laughs> Anyone got that? I'm getting microwaved feeling, you know? Uh, I do know of quotes from the show or, you know, scenes that have been referenced to in other videos and, you know, science shows and, but I don't know what it, what their presentation of it all is. Oh, this is probably real audio too, isn't it? Wake up the bosses! Oh, 
He's a firefighter, I'm guessing, right? But it doesn't look right. The color. Are they bombing? No, that's 2022. It's... What the fuck is this? 3.61, but it's as high as it goes. The good one's locked in a safe. I don't have a key. It talked out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of these people are fucked. Okay. Stay here. I'll come back. Mm, there's a lot I want to say about the fear and helplessness of the situation, but I can't. I kind of just want to bask in it right now, so I'll talk later. Yeah, Victor, no. Freddy Krueger over there. Just breathing it in, you know? Outside is in there, so inside is outside. <laughs> are those the cooling tanks? Because if they are, that's a, you know. This guy is like a chef. Some old chef at a kitchen just, uh... Walking around confidently calm. Not working. I tried calling for the electricians. I don't give a shit about the panel. I need water in my reactor core. If the button yeah, don't work. What does the decimeter say? Uh, 3.6 Ronkin, but that's as high as the meter. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. Get out the other meter. Let's, let's see it top out. <laughs> I forget if it was eventually determined to be human error, mechanical fault, s safety systems not in place, a combination of... God damn. Like, building fires are already so hazardous, so dangerous, breathing shit in, asbestos, chemicals, cleaners, it just... Oh, silly. What's this? I don't know, Misha. Don't fuck around with it. Goodbye, Misha. Ah. The valve's Misha. The valve, let's go. Yo, that hand is already fucking up. Uh, we need to get into the reactor hall. Lower the control rods for the doors jam. I don't think there are control rods. I don't think there's a call. <laughs> Get on it's all right. And there's just all those rocks all over the fucking place, you know? All that debris. You guys gonna hold it for him? Or, uh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, did he did he get through the door? Did it? <laughs> this shit is just their faces like melting in front of God. It's gone. It's gone. He knows what's gonna happen to him because he, it happened to the dude. This has been a stressful twenty minutes. Get some rest. It's going to take me a while to pick up the names, because uh, I don't know who's going to even survive, who's going to melt, so... It's gone. I looked right into it. I looked into the core. Did you lower the control rods or not? What? What part of reality is this guy operating in? Like, I'm not saying you should freak out and panic, but you shouldn't be like, oh, eh, well, Captain Stoic over here. Like, call in a day shift. But if we have to keep water flowing into the core, we need electricians, mechanics, we need bodies. I mean, he's not wrong. It's just <laughs> on this kind <laughs> of I mean, they're going to want a full report. Well, I don't know if I can make things better for you. But I can certainly make them worse. Like, there's blind optimism and then there's blind stupidity. We're, we're kind of we're kinda treading on the line here. Has this been syncing up? Like, it's this episode's been about 25 minutes in, and I think the timeline from the explosion has it been synced up? Like, you know, I once went two days without sleep. Ten women went into labor at the same time. I'll tell you that story. Yes. Every time. Well, I won't need you in here for a while. If you want, get some rest in the break room. They haven't brought anyone in from the fire. What fire? The power plant. Oh, it mustn't be too bad. 
<laughs> stock iodine pills? Does the hospital stock iodine pills? Iodine pills? Why would we have iodine? radiation soak? Of course, I want you to call him. If I'm up, he's up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bosses getting stirred out there. Yeah, I just finished watching the second season of Dark. You know, and a nuclear power plant and its problems are at the are a centerpiece in that show. So it was a, a fun transition to go from there to this. I have to get on the phone and tell Marion, or God forbid, Froniseff, that my power plant is on fire. No one can blame you for this, Director Prokhanov. Of course, no one can blame but me. But they for will. This. How can I be responsible? I was sleeping. But you're you're the boss, so you're ultimately responsible. Unit shift chief Akimov and engineer Topdanov encountered technical difficulties leading to an accumulation of hydrogen in the control system tank. It regrettably ignited, damaging the plant, setting the roof on fire. In the reactor building, I'm being told, 3.6 rungen per hour. Well, that's not great, but it's not horrifying. It's topped out. It could be 1,000. It could be 500. It could be 10,000. Right. They, they didn't bust out the big meter immediately after they were like, oh, this one... Uh, uh. Oh, shit. They're, I see what they're all getting hit with the ash from the fire. The fallout. God damn it, guys. It was 40 years after World War II, so I guess, like, nuclear was like, oh, we're used to it now, because I know there was a lot of fear at the beginning of the nuclear age, and... That one guy kind of looks like Kylo Ren. I can't tell, though. Oh, that's rain from outside. That's not like an internal sprinkler leak. Well, now there's going to be washing... Yeah, just the roof is on fire, because the shit underneath the roof exploded the roof. Like, they, they run into burning buildings and rubble and shit anyway, which is crazy enough. And then you're like, oh yeah, radioactive shit everywhere. <laughs> His face is getting a little, uh... Like, how many days did this go on before they're like, okay, uh... <laughs> Electrical's gone. The core? I didn't go in there and I won't. We have to open the valves. Sasha. What do you want, Boris? If it's true, then we're dead. A million people are dead. Is that what you need to hear? Help us. Help you do what? Pump water into a ditch. There's nothing there. <laughs> I see both the sides. Like, we've got to do something, but there's nothing to do, but we can't. It's such a shitty, impossible <laughs> situation. Kind of like in K-19 Widowmaker, where they take turns going back in the sub into the nuke room. <laughs> I guess we know why they called us in early. Is anyone saying what happened? <sighs> They're running the safety test on the turbines. Okay, this is like the board of directors, probably, or, you know. Gentlemen, welcome. Please, uh, find a seat. Plenty of room. We built this shelter to withstand the nuclear attack by the Americans, so... I think we'll be fine. Oh, Maester from uh, Maester Lewin um, from uh, see, Game of Thrones. First, the accident is well under control. Second, because the efforts of the Soviet nuclear industry are considered key state secrets, it is important that we ensure that this incident has no adverse consequences. Panic. Uh, on the international landscape, right? There's more radiation than they're saying. We have wives here. We have children. I say we evacuate the town. Voice of reason. Please, let's here. let's not put our, the safety of our lives over top of convenience and profits. Like the air is glowing. The Chirankov effect. <laughs> radiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radiation. But, but they should simply be told to keep their minds on their labor. We seal off the city. No one leaves. And cut the phone lines. Contain the spread of misinformation. Our misinformation. The truth. <laughs> don't the don't let the day. truth get out. This is our moment. To be villainized by HBO in 20 years. 40 years. Great. Tell that to all the people melting. Hmm. Well? Well, what did you do? The large dissimilar from the safe, the one with the thousand rooms okay. capacity. What was the number? There was none. 
The meter burned out the second it was turned on. <laughs> Typical. Here's what Moscow does. Typical of what? Sends the shit equipment and wonders why things go wrong. We found another decimeter from the military fire department. It only goes to 200 Ronkin, but it's better than the small ones. It maxed out. <laughs> 200 Ronkin. So if 35 or 3.5 is bad but not terrible, we're sitting at 200 plus. It's another faulty meter. You're wasting our time. I checked the meter against the control. What's wrong with you? How'd you get that number from feed water leaking from a blown tank? <sighs> I, uh... I've been told that Russians sometimes will lie and then, like, believe it wholeheartedly and act like it's truth. Like, run on that, and that's that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. You didn't see graphite. Yes. I did. You didn't. Fucking go look, boss. Didn't! Because it's not there! Send the boss down there to look. And then we'll ha we'll know something. He'll either say it's bullshit or he'll it'll be able to radiate to death. Are you stupid? No. Then why can't you? <laughs> this is reality. I don't see. This is what you point. want. These are not in the same place. I'll go up to the vent block roof from there. You can look right down into reactor building four. I'll see you with my own. Thank you. Oh. Own eyes. <laughs> Oh, well, how much time are you spending over there? That's just stress. I apologize. I'm a nerves. <laughs> it's like people that don't believe in vaccines and shit. I don't, I don't want to go there. I've known people that have died from COVID. And it's like, at what point do you just accept the fact that you're an idiot? Or you didn't take precautions? Or that you're wrong? Or you just, you just crunch and crunch into the grave? It's okay. so fucking dumb. Go to the Ben Block roof. No. Pull back what you see. No, that's what the, he, his idea is. His... No, I won't do that. Of course you will. No. What, the guards are going to walk you up to the roof? They're going to melt on the way, too. They're not going to... Igor. Okay, these are the two guys that set out, and they're like, fuck it, we're opening the valves. We're getting the water in there. Fuck, start turning. You're already dead. You gotta make it work. We did nothing wrong. But we did. Well, what, what was it? The guards are taking him up there. Alright, guards. Come on, man. If you know this is crazy shit and exposure time, you gotta reduce it. Run out there. Oh, shit. Run back. Yeah, is that that... that's roaring down in there still. God damn. Let's get that reveal. Already getting red a little bit. Realization, maybe? Uh, there is no subjective point of view or reference point or experience about an objective reality. This shit is gone. You don't know what you're looking at. You don't know what you saw. Go look again. <laughs> Bitch, you go look. I know I said I was going to go into this and try to be, you know, treat it serious, and but the incompetence and just the fucking denial of reality is... I hope she got her rest in the uh, break room, because shit's coming in. Oh, she's dipping out. She's like, nah, bro. There's been an accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. How bad is it? No, 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 it's a panic. There was a fire. It's mostly... Is that Anderson Dawes from The Expanse? I'm covering up the hair. ...system tank. And the core? Oh, and the core? Oh, yeah. Get Fred Johnson on the line. It's actually significant. You should evacuate the surround... <laughs> the inners treat us like this. The nuclear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say the shadow of the power plant falls on the, but it's it's the shadow. It's the fog and the radioactive dust and the. Okay, what are we? 
Oh, boy. I was going to say, why are we down here? What's the point? Ah, oh, what a shit show. Ah, great episode, though, I'll tell you that. And that was Chernobyl, episode one. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, it was probably one, twenty, three, forty five seconds still. I don't know. That was entirely, like, I, with floods, you can go to high ground. With fires, you can, you know, try to get away. With disease, you can keep the sick people there. But with radiation, it's, it's in the air, it's in the water, it's, it's, it's in the, any of the plants, the animals, and you can't see it, and there, you, you know, you can do very little. <laughs> you, a radiation suit, but those only help to a certain point, and then, like, if you're not behind feet of lead and water, <laughs> you're, you're gonna get some. Like, just the, just the bold, just the bold, you, you, no, it's not, go look, you don't know what you're talking about, you're delusional, you're crazy, you're, 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 you're in distress, you're not right, you're stupid, it's like, I mention that because I, I had thrown a line in there that I've been told that Russians will run with a lie and treat it as truth, which is kind of what was presented here. I just hope, uh, I, I wonder if, if there were Russians, uh, or anything, it was like, there's American HBO propaganda. It's like, uh, no, this, this is history. Like, I'm, I'm, now, like, I'm, I'm trying to think about the historical context, what these people are going through, the emotional beats, the filmmaking aspects, the entire atmosphere like they really did a good job of like making that facility just in this first episode feel like this roaring beast like this thing <laughs> that that is broken out of the cage it's not essential for all productions but for this i appreciate that they have made the environment into almost its own character it's like this death <laughs> and it ended with you know death cloud and look at all the school kids and then fucking birds a bird dropped out of the sky and it's like wait a minute is this dark i was gonna say cue the intro music of dark because they had falling birds too but that's you know again dark also has a nuclear power plant so no spoilers this was a lot to take in i don't know how i'm gonna edit this there was just a lot of downtime of just taking in the horror or the bullshit a bunch of the times that i talk in here or do commentary or, re or say stuff it's because i need to bridge the sections of what I'm watching because if I don't scenes go on too long or there's too much back to back the the YouTube filters catch it and it doesn't get posted so had to fill it in with a little bit of jib jab and for that I'm sorry in editing if I come across anything else that I see questions ideas thoughts I will pin that as a comment at the top of this video so this version of me right now pretty satisfied no questions editing me might see some stuff and have some thoughts, so that's where we'll be. Anyway, this is a hell of a first episode. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like actually sweating. Like, like I, it's not that hot out. Man, I smell too. What's going on here? This show has just gotten it out of me. I'm gonna go take a shower, get ready, and uh, get on with my day. So, all right, this was a lot of fun. Thank you all for being. I say fun loosely, I mean it's a horrible situation, but this was a great episode, great experience, and I look forward to more, so thanks again for your time, and goodbye.